The past three years have been very difficult and the prospect for the future is certainly not looking very promising. Not only have we all been affected by COVID, but the war in Ukraine has played havoc with the world economy, driving prices up and causing suffering for so many people. And countries we once looked at as being solid and stable are beginning to look very shaky. It is a very gloomy picture and people have become fearful. And it's no coincidence that many people are now suffering with anxiety. It's on the increase. People are fearful, they're worried, they're losing hope. When I read the Bible, I see the people of God facing dark, discouraging moments. Sometimes their suffering is of their own making, other times it's caused by evil people. And in the Psalms, I hear the people of God crying out to God for deliverance, for guidance, for hope, for answers to their questions. So what's going to sustain us in the days ahead? If all we see is chaos, then we're going to be constantly tormented. But we've got to see beyond the chaos and see God, because God is there. No matter how much chaos there is, God has not abandoned us. God is with us. Scripture portrays God as one who carries his children. He's portrayed as a shepherd who finds the lost sheep and carries it home to safety. These and many other images of God show God to be a caring, loving God, a God who can be trusted. Let me share with you words of comfort from the prophet Habakkuk, who himself was facing difficult times, but continued to trust God. This is what he says. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there is no grapes on the vine, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. Isn't that fabulous?